All right, so we're gonna uh, learn uh, a little bit together on this thing. I've had it apart, had it kind of cleaned up. Um, I gotta take a gotta take the cap off of there first. I don't you know, really need that, but um, basically you got your burrs in here, and uh, you can adjust them. I think I think I'm gonna run that spring a little bit. I don't exactly know how that spring's supposed to work. If I would have done this, I probably would have put a little washer there, and that may be what I'll do, just because it's been digging into this thing for years. My in-laws did use this a lot, they said, so it has been used, but it's in, it's in pretty good condition. Gotta get that spring right there. So you just tighten that down, and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of coffee in here. I don't wanna, if, it's, if it doesn't come out good, Probably not the cleanest thing, but I'm going to run some coffee through it to kind of clean it out. I get this thing. I didn't really want to just soak it down with water and rust it out. <clears throat> and it didn't seem to be too rusty. I thought it was rust, but it was actually just old coffee grounds in there that I just had to kind of clean out. But, you know, if it tastes weird, I may have to get a little more aggressive with it. It smells pretty good. Put a little coffee in there. Let's fill it up, fill the hopper. A little little ways up, and you know, we'll get it in there. All right, we're uh, we're experimenting together. Let's uh, let's get this thing ready to seal up this coffee here. You don't want that. You don't want that going, but going stale on you. You got to have good coffee. And I've never tried this stuff before, but it's organic, and that is important. Okay, so. I don't know what this does. I, I don't know what pressure that I need, and I don't, I don't really know which way to crank it. it. Looks like the spring kind of binds up if I go this way. So I'm going to go. I'm going to go this way, and we're going to try it. It's really not a whole lot. <laughs> not 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 quite doing it yet. Here, let's see what we're doing wrong. What are we doing wrong? Do I go this way? Maybe I go that way. There we go. That's the ticket. We gotta go this way. Might be too fine. I'll take the pressure off. Oh, oh, there we go. No, maybe it was alright. Just hang, hanging up. Let's turn it up. You guys ever seen something like that work? It's pretty cool. Look at that. Nice. That's <clears throat> that is pretty fine. It's not, you know, it's not powdery fine, but that is fine enough for drip coffee. Mm, it smells really good. All right, I'm gonna go save that, uh, and we're gonna have that tomorrow morning. And what I want to do real quick is um, I want to throw some wheat in there and see if it works. And then I'll clean it all out and then we'll just probably use it just for coffee. Or I'll probably just put it as a decoration again. But tighten this back down. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna give this a shot. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope it doesn't ruin it, but I'm gonna throw a little bit of wheat in the top. Um, some wheat berries and then uh, we'll see if it grinds it. I don't I don't I, I really don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna give this a shot real quick. Guys, I have no. All right, guys, I have no idea what's going to happen, but I have a little bit of unground uh, whole wheat, and I'm going to put that in. I don't know what's going to do, so I'm gonna, we're going to experiment here together. I have no idea. Like I said, it's going to probably have a little bit of coffee grounds in it, but all right, here we go. Let's see if this even works. Ooh, yeah, that's probably not going to. Oh no. Oh nope. Came off. <laughs> well, we tried. I don't think this is gonna work, guys. I, I'm having my, I'm already having doubts. It doesn't, doesn't feel happy. All right, I'm gonna back this way down.
happened? Did we get any? Uh, we got a little bit of wheat going with coffee in it. Let's. I think I think lightening it up a little bit was the key. Let's just. That didn't really do much, but let's just give it a shot. Here. Back this way down, and then we're gonna try it again. Speed up. Yeah, it's not liking it too much. It's making a, it's making a powder, but it really needs more pressure. I don't think that's gonna work, guys. A little more. A little bit more. No, it's just getting a little bit of, it's busting it up. It's just cracking it a little bit. No go, bummer. Well, it was worth a shot. It's making a little bit of powder, but I think you just need, is there anything? Uh, it, just, it just breaks it up. It breaks it up. Well, let's just try a little bit more. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit more and just see. I don't wanna give up yet. I don't think it's gonna work though. It can't go through that. A mm, little bit better powder that time. But still, yeah, this isn't made for this. Well, it was worth a shot, right? It was all in the name of science, so we had to... We had to try it. Had to try it. You never nothing. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. Now I got to do it. Now I do have to clean this out because it's probably gonna have a whole wheat, a whole wheat flavor to it. It cracked it up a little bit. It doesn't. It, there's no. It doesn't have enough um, pressure uh, with the teeth to make or the the burrs to make uh, enough to make wheat. So, well, everyone, the. Uh, Ultimately, the uh, whole grain grinder experiment didn't didn't quite work out the way I, I planned it. I thought I could cheat the system. You know, these um, hand grinders uh, for wheat and grains are extremely expensive. You're talking anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars to get one of those things, those manual ones. But they're really cool. Um, my parents have an electric one that you can convert to manual if you want. It's a magic mill I think and those are really nice if you can find one of those they're kind of an old school uh, mill but they're just loud and you know um, and they're hard to find they're actually really kind of hard to find so I thought I could cheat the system and maybe you know run some grain through this a couple of times and it would be just fine not the case guys so uh, right tool for the right job I guess but nonetheless it's pretty neat I thought you guys might be interested in this um, little little relic Anyways, and uh, I thought you guys might get a kick out of that. Anyways, um, I'm still going to use it for making coffee every now and then. I think that would be kind of fun. Maybe get the kids involved and they can help help make it. They like to smell. They like the smell of coffee, which is kind of fun. Um, yeah, that's about it uh, for today's video. Kind of funny. Kind of a funny thing. But I hope you guys are having a good weekend. I'll see you in the next one.